Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to look at how we can backup and restore repositories on Tosca Commander. Now, Tosca Commander allows us to backup and restore uh, two types of items. One is the entire projects. It could be either a single user project or a multi user project. It also allows us to uh, backup and restore component folders, which are nothing but uh, smaller projects inside your big project. So backing up a single user project is pretty simple. So for example, uh, this particular single user project can be backed up by just uh, exporting the subset. And then whenever you want to restore this project, then you can just import it again. So exporting a subset is pretty easy. Uh, click on export subset and then here uh, I can store some name like the same name uh, so it will store this as practice.tsu okay so this way you can easily uh, take a backup of your current single user project and then whenever you need it uh, you just import the subset again uh, maybe in a different project Okay, so just go ahead and import the practice.tsu. Okay, so I click on open and then um, it is going to ask you to merge all the different objects because this is the same project, right? So don't do it on the same project, uh, probably do it on a different project where you want to recover this. Now, uh, coming to the multi user projects it's a little different okay than single user projects so for multi user projects uh, the backup includes all the workspace objects the project settings uh, properties and also if you have got any version data the main uh, prerequisites before you uh, take a backup of your multi user project is you should make sure that you have got enough disk space because the backup file could be about 20% of the size of your backed up repository. And to restore uh, the database repositories, you need create and drop rights. So let's go ahead and open a multi-user project now, uh, like this multi-demo. And then uh, the process involves you to open the workspace as an admin user. So only an administrator can take a backup of a multi-user project. So we are going to sign in using the admin credentials. And after this, uh, you have to go to project and then info. Here, there is an option to backup the currently used common repository. Okay, so click on that and then it will ask you to exclude object versioning history from the backup. Uh, you can click yes or you can click no, okay. And then it will ask you for a folder where you want to store uh, this particular backed up uh, repository. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a backup folder here. And then I'm going to select that and click on OK. Now, depending on uh, your repository size, this could take uh, minutes or hours, right? Uh, since my repository doesn't contain uh, much objects, so it was done in a quick instance, but uh, it could be different uh, based on your repository size. So that's how you can back up your multi-user uh, project. It will be stored in the file extension of .tdp, okay? So that's that's the file extension and then in order to restore a particular backup okay uh, so we don't need to go into any project so we are going to close this and uh, Tracentis actually recommends that whenever you restore a backed up repository um, it should always be in a newly created repository okay uh, because if you restore your backup in a existing repository Tracentis Tosca is going to overwrite all the existing data. So uh, you should not be doing it in existing repository. You should always do it in a new repository. So here uh, we need to go into project again info 
and then we need to go into the restore option which is now available because we have got a backup so click on that restore and it will say that when restoring any existing data in the affected repository will be discarded uh, you will not be able to undo or roll back this transaction okay so make sure you are aware of this before you restore your particular uh, project into this repository okay so here uh, it will ask you for a restore db uh, repository selected file so uh, we can go to that particular location where we stored this tosca workspaces and then uh, in the backup folder okay so this is the file multi demo dump and it is dot dgp right so uh, after this up so after that you click on open okay and then uh, it will ask you for the type of repository okay so it could be a new repository an actual database like oracle ms sql or db2 or it could be a sqlite okay and then um, the connection string okay so if you are using uh, oracle or a sql server uh, schema is optional and then you click on test connection and then click on ok okay so uh, this is going to overwrite all the all the data in the particular repository right so i am not going to do that but this is always helpful uh, when you have got regular backups of your uh, repository or your projects then in in very rare scenarios where you lose any particular data due to any particular problem in your database or in your uh, complete uh, infrastructure then you can always use this backup to restore your repository or project uh, in a different repository right that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.